Hello, today I show you how to use watercolor Photoshop action and here is some of the results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendations for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2000 pixels and more for waters photos and 3000 pixels and more for full body photos and landscape photos. And before your section you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. The second step, go to the image mod and check the RGB color and 8 bit channel. And last step, just for CS5 and high versions, click on menu icon at the right. Go to the panel options and check the add copy to copy the lesson groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action. First, open your photo and one more important thing, your photo needs to have the background view. So, if your photo has this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's ok. Ok, the next step, open brushes file, with it go to the edit, press it, press it manager, in press it type select brushes, click load. Go to the download folder and make double click on watercolor brushes file. Ok, click done. Next step, open patterns file. For that go to the edit, press it, press it manager. But now in press it type select patterns, click load, then go to the download folder again and make double click on watercolor patterns file. Ok, click done. Next step, open the action file, for that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder last time and make double click on watercolor photoshop action file. That's done. If you need to increase the resolution of your photo, go to the image, image size and change width or height value. Okay. Next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Now you need to paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use brush tool, you can use a quick selection tool or magic wand tool or you can use lesser tools. For this image I'm gonna use brush tool with a soft brush. You can use any colors.
that's done. Now go to the actions panel. If you close the actions panel, go to the window, actions, find action on the action list, open the folder with section, open the action and select the action and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100% and that the normal mode is selected. OK, click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm going to scroll this step. OK, when action finished work, you can edit the final composition and now I show you how to make this. In the final composition, we have uh, eight folders. It's background elements, basic mode elements, light mode elements, additional layers, add original color folder, 10 color options, 10 color effects, and color and color settings of all image. Okay, let's start from background elements. In this folder, you can change the background color. You can use any colors. Also, this folder contains background layers. If you need to erase some space of these layers, you can use a layer mask of folders or you can use layer mask of uh, layer. So just select the layer mask, select brush tool, select the black color and just paint where you want to erase this effect. If you want to make visible, just change color to white and paint again. And please pay attention that you need to paint only on layer mask, not on the layer. Okay. And the next folder, it's color and color settings of uh, background. In this folder, you can change the hue saturation of background. You can add the color tone to background. You can add the gradient to background. Of course, you can change the colors of gradient or that just make double click on the layer icon, click on the gradient and make double click on the layer what you want to change. You can move this gradient, change the angle of gradient and scale the gradient. And the last layer in this folder, it's brightness and contrast of background. Okay, also if you want to change uh, all background layers, maybe you want to show uh, some of space of your original background, just select the layer mask of this uh, background elements folder, select the brush tool with black color and paint where you want to erase. Make visible, change color to white and paint again. Okay, the next folder it's uh, basic mode elements. 
this folder contains other object layers, object blue details. You can also erase these folders uh, or these layers using layer mask and brush tool. And the next layer it's uh, turn on light mode. It's very useful and easy way if you want to change the basic mode to light mode. Just make visible this layer. And now you get light composition, light watercolor composition. Also, you can combine this uh, light mode with basic mode uh, just using layer mask. Select the layer mask, select brush tool and change color to black and just paint where you want to add more uh, details from basic mode. Maybe we want to add more watercolor here, here, or on the eyes, nose. It's very easy to use. Okay, and the next folder it's light mode elements folder. This folder contains five folders. It's white and dark parts on object, uh, watercolor, big drops. Uh, object white details, pencil lines, and uh, more watercolor on object. Okay, and also if you want to erase some space, maybe you want to erase uh, pencil lines, just select the layer mask of folder, or you can select mask of one of the layers in this folder, and just paint uh, with brush tool and black color. Maybe we want to erase uh, pencil lines here. Okay, nice. And uh, in pencil lights folder, you can change the color of uh, pencil lights. And also I want to show you how to uh, make more watercolor drops. Just open the watercolor big drops folder, uh, select the one of layers and just go to the layer, duplicate layer. Okay. And now you can move this uh, layer. You can transform, let go to the edit, uh, free transform. You can rotate and scale this layer. Very easy to use. And also you can erase this uh, layer using layer mask. Okay. The next uh, folder, it's uh, additional layers. This folder contains just three layers. Uh, it's add more light layer, paper texture. You can change the uh, size and you can move the paper texture. For that, make double click on pattern overlay and just move this texture. Also, you can scale this texture. And the last layer in this folder is a shadow frame a layer. You can change the opacity of this layer. And the next folder it's uh, add original color folder. This folder contains uh, make black and white image layer, add original color layer, 
And also in this folder you can add more color to your original colors. Just move the slider. Very easy to use. And the next folder, it's uh, 10 color options. You can combine these options. Okay, I like this. And the next folder is 10 color FX. You can also combine this uh, color FX with color options. Okay. And the last folder, it's color and contour settings of all image. In this folder, you can add the gradient to all image. You can also change the colors of gradient. Looks nice. And also you can change the hue saturation of all image. You can add the photo filter to all image. Of course you can change the photo filter. So just make double click on uh, layer icon. Select the photo filter what you need from list. You can change the density of this photo filter. You can make black and white composition. You can add the color tone to all image. Of course, you can change the opacity of this layer. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. Okay, it's ready. Here is the result. Now you just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.